In this chapter, we will continue to discuss the differences between Avid Studio and Pinnacle Studio. The workflows are similar to Pinnacle Studio and Pinnacle users will find migrating to Avid Studio easy. But the creative concept is different in Avid Studio. On the timeline, there are limited tracks in Pinnacle Studio. There are virtually unlimited tracks in Avid Studio. Pinnacle Studio has a single main track for concentric editing. You have multi-track editing in Avid Studio for tremendous flexibility during the creative process. In Avid Studio, the tracks are layered from the bottom up, so a clip on the upper track plays over the clip on the lower track. You can now name and resize the tracks in Avid Studio. All tracks now accept any recognized media. Just turn on the speaker or monitor button on the track. Pinnacle Studio always had the Snap 2 function turned on. You can turn the magnet on or off easily in Avid Studio. In Pinnacle Studio, you have to select the format you wish to work in, such as standard definition or high definition, at the start of your project. If you wanted to change formats, you had to re-edit the entire project. Avid Studio allows you to select the format anytime and if needed, it will re-render your project automatically. This allows you to make powerful choices when deciding how your movie will be seen, whether it is on YouTube, an iPhone, a Blu-ray player, or the many other output possibilities. Avid Studio makes it easy. When previewing content in Pinnacle Studio, you must choose either from the album or the timeline, which can interrupt the creative process. In the Avid Studio Player window, you have your choice of quickly choosing either the source or the timeline view. This works with any element, including audio. Avid Studio has a convenient jog shuttle wheel to carefully scan through your source or timeline forward and reverse. Using your source window in Avid Studio, you can mark in and out points and send your edited clip to the selected track at the playhead position. This makes finding and selecting critical edit points easy. Instead of having to open the Pinnacle Studio Toolbox for audio and video tools, Avid Studio locates VoiceOver, Trim, and Smart Tools conveniently on the top of the timeline. Use the Trim Editor for powerful trimming over multiple tracks. In Pinnacle Studio, you captured a still frame from your timeline using the Frame Grab tool. In Avid Studio, you can open the Correction Editor and take a snapshot. In Pinnacle Studio, you access Picture-in-Picture -picture and Chroma Key effects from the toolbox. In Avid Studio, all the effects you need are in the Effects Editor. Simply double-click on a clip in the timeline to access these powerful tools.
The audio mixer is now located on the Avid Studio timeline for quick access. Scorefitter is now also accessed from the timeline. A more intuitive way of authoring disks is part of the Avid Studio workflow. Menus now reside in a menu list, which links to points on the timeline rather than sitting on the timeline itself. You now drag chapter buttons from the preview window to the chapter track, as well as automatically create chapters using the chapter wizard. There is much more on this subject in the DVD authoring chapters. Whether you are a longtime Pinnacle Studio user or brand new to editing, Avid Studio is a powerful new approach to the creative workflow. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class On Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Avid Studio. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with the same high quality production polish used in the latest Hollywood blockbusters, then order your copy of Class on Demand's complete training for Avid Studio on Avid's website. On behalf of Avid and Class on Demand, thanks for watching.